Here's a version of Newton's law of cooling that could apply to an object that is in a room with a temperature of 20. Now in this equation, capital T is temperature and lowercase t is time. And we're interested in how capital T changes over time. So given that the initial temperature of the beverage is five degrees, I would like to know what is the temperature at all other times. So <clears throat> given that T of zero is five, that means the temperature at time little t equals zero is five at the initial temperature. We would like to know what is capital T of T. How does the temperature vary? How does it change as a function of time? So if we can find this, we'll say we've solved the equation, we've found our solution. Finding this would be like finding the orbit or itinerary of an iterated function. So in this subunit, I'll describe some qualitative methods for figuring out the general behavior of these types of differential equations. And the key is going to be to graph the right-hand side of this equation. So let me do that, and we'll see what it looks like and what it tells us. So what I've done is I've drawn a plot, a graph, of the right-hand side of this equation. So this purple line is this function. If you don't see how to make this graph right away, um, don't worry, you can graph it on a computer. But for this course, um, I'll provide you graphs like this. OK, so let's think about what this tells us. On the horizontal axis is temperature in degrees Celsius. So that's T as we vary T. And then we interpret this as the derivative, the rate of change of the temperature. So this would have units of degrees Celsius per minute, how fast the temperature is warming up or cooling off. So if we have water that's right around zero, then it would be warming up at four degrees per minute. So we use this graph to read not the direct value of the temperature, but if we know the temperature, we can figure out how fast the temperature is changing. If we're at 10 degrees C, then this says, and I'm sorry the scale is off a little bit, but um, if we're at 10 degrees C, then we're warming up at two degrees per minute. If we're at 20 degrees C, then we're not warming up at all. The rate of change of the temperature is zero because the purple line goes through zero. Or if you plug in 20 here, you get 20 minus 20, that's zero. So the rate of change, that's what the left-hand side of this equation is zero. If we had something at 30, maybe a warm cup of tea, then its derivative, its rate of change, according to this function, is minus two. So it's warming up at minus two degrees per minute, or you would say it's cooling off at two degrees per minute. Its temperature is decreasing at that instant at two degrees per minute. So from this type of graph, we can go immediately to a phase line for the solutions for this differential equation. So let me draw that. There's one fixed point, or equilibrium value, and that's at 20. 20 is fixed because the rate of change when the temperature is 20 is zero. If you put um, a glass of water that's at room temperature in, um, in a room of 20 degrees, it will stay at 20 degrees. If we are below 20, cooler than 20, we know that the water, the object, will warm up. And we know that from everyday experience. We can also see that from this graph. The graph, which we interpret as the derivative, is positive. That means that capital T, the temperature, is increasing. So we move this way. It increases until we get to 20. And if capital T is over here, so we're at 30 or 40 degrees, then we know the temperature will decrease. It will cool off to room temperature. And we know that from everyday experience, but we also can see that from the function. The purple line is negative here. That means that dt, dt, the rate of change of temperature, is negative. The temperature is getting smaller. If I plugged in 30 here, I would get a negative number, meaning that temperature was decreasing. So immediately from this graph, we can get a lot of information. 
we see that there's a fixed point or an equilibrium at 20, and we see that it's stable or attracting. 